Hello everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we are checking out the Raider Sword, what? From the Jeff mod, Game Raider, more like Jeff Raider, hilarious. Yeah, here's the sword, not the prettiest, I can't lie about that. But yeah, let's see it in action here, just a good bit of damage. Let's hit a dummy, look at that, nice. I'm not seeing uh, negatives, but it's a big number. I don't know if this will beat the Calamity damage cap. The mod's title itself says better than Calamity, so you know, it, it better beat the Calamity bosses then. But let us get right to it. King Slime, I, I wanna kill it with the projectile. Boom, the projectile homes too, that's cool. Uh, so the projectile, it does a bunch of damage and then the uh, sword physically itself when I hit something, does a bunch of damage. The Bone Zone? What a good weapon name. Let's go ahead. Let's see the Queen Bee. Get that B word out of here. I was going to... Oh, I was about to say it. Let's fight the Brain of Cthulhu over here. Why not? I've been doing it recently. Let's keep up the trend. There you go. But in terms of the Eater, you know, I'll fight the Eater over here in his little desert. This is the Eater's desert. Specifically his desert only. And also the Dark Mage and Lepus and uh, Turkor. I usually fight them here too. But it's still the Eater eaters desert boom lepus and turkor oh get chased down by the projectile so far things are looking good you know let's do the dungeon guardian right now while i remember oh we got our first not insta kill it's all good it still kills it pretty quickly i have a feeling that a certain worm is not gonna get killed so uh let's go ahead we did the right side last time let's let's look at the left side right here let's go right here and do the left side go ahead wall of flesh there we go another beautiful box added to the collection all right it is mech trio time let's see it in action you know i'm gonna just shoot projectiles hope it hits something there we go less aiming for us no believe it or not homing projectiles projectiles really are the meta in terraria makes life a lot easier all right plantera and the golem get them out of here and since i'm down here and i'm feeling like killing akram let's do it what's up akram get the fuck out of here duke fish ron let's do it for the one time duke fish gone but by the projectile all right let's go ahead let's get the ogre and betsy out knock them out of here get them out maybe one of these episodes i'll do like eternity mode versions of the boss i don't know if you can insta kill those ones but maybe we should do it for an episode let's go ahead let's fight the dutchman here though all right we got our wooden boys here get them out of here let's summon in our king and of course our not so beautiful queen one of the ugliest sprites in the game can't lie. Hey, she's running away. She heard me. Did you get an insta kill her right when I spawned her? Let's go ahead and summon in a sand tank, of course. Not sand, sand. And I ain't talking about the the do 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 do. Martian saucer up next. Hopefully, no problems with that. We're good. And it is time for the cultists, the boys, the pillars. Let's take them out. Cultists, I'm gonna just stand under like this. Actually, we can hit him with the projectile. I can back up. Boom projectile. Boom stardust pillar uh there's a solar pillar somewhere boom nebula dead and vortex okay that was a little slow i'm not gonna lie while we wait we could go ahead and fight abyssion since we already did the, the dungeon guardian let's fight abyssion why not hey there he is get him the hell out of here boom and there you go moon lord dead all right so let us go ahead and fight the dream eater here okay perfect and now this is when we step into the real test let's start off with the mutant i mean i'm interested to see the mutant okay it's looking good for the mutant you know our last weapon could not be the mutant but this time we can all right let us take on dog come on here's the real real test so we hit the tail the tail's back there somewhere uh-oh uh-oh for a mod saying that it's better than calamity you got a sword in the mod that can't fight calamity bosses that doesn't really make sense. We got the second phase. Let's see if it can take on the second phase. Uh-oh, it can't take on the second phase either? Come on, this is not no blade of mine. I would never want a blade named the Raider Blade if it can't take on Calamity bosses. I'm gonna ask the mod developer to please change the name. This is too weak. All right, let's go ahead. Let's fight Yarn though. Maybe we'll have a different outcome here. Oh, look at that. It actually did do some damage. But we needed to be able to beat those Calamity damage caps. Come on, that's a big thing of this series. That's what we always try and get weapons to do. To name a sword after me in this series and it can't beat a damage cap? Like, it's kind of disrespectful now that I think about it. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get rid of Yarn. And it is time to fight Supreme Cal. But first, Eidolon Worm. Do not expect to be able to beat the Eidolon Worm at all. Any sword that has troubles with the Dungeon Guardian is definitely not going to be able to beat the Eidolon Worm. But 
You never know. I could always test it. All right, Supreme Cal. You know how it is with Supreme Cal fights. We don't really fight her until like the end. Or we don't kill her till the end, so I should say. I do kind of want to see what type of damage we do, though, early on. Oh, it's not looking good for the Raider Blade. Yeah, I don't think we should uh, fight this whole thing if I can't even do damage to her at first. Looking like it's a L here. All right, to finish off the episode, let us take on the Ugandan Knuckles and Ek Death, of course. Oh my god, I always forget that I have to use an item. All right. Let's do it. Let's see. Maybe it will kill it. Maybe it will not. Absolutely not so far. Okay, take me away. Go ahead. So obviously, I don't really have high hopes here to be Egg Death, but let's do it anyways. Egg Death. This is sad. This is sad that a sword is named after Game Raiders and it can't do anything against the good bosses. This is a disgrace to my name. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying Game Raiders Month if it's going well. I don't know. I'm recording this way ahead of time. So if I like failed Game Raiders Month already, I wouldn't know. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Check out the mod. Don't check out the mod. I don't know how to feel about this sword. I'll see y'all in the next video though.